What is going on all you Pokemon collecting maniacs out there? This is Ryan, the Pika Pika Papa, and it is March Madness here in the Pika Pika Papa household. So today we're going to be talking about all of the things that I am going to be going after uh, from a collecting, investing standpoint uh, for the month of March. And we started this off last month and I had a lot of fun sharing it with you guys and I was excited to do it again this month. So you all know if you've been following this channel at all, I do a ton of research and due diligence before I spend a penny of my family's hard-earned cash, so I promise you I have flushed all of these out. With that being said, just because I'm going after it certainly doesn't mean that you should. You should do your own research and come to your own conclusions. Uh, but I will say this. So for the first time ever, I'm going to have an ask for everybody out there. I spend a ton of time doing research. I spend a ton of time compiling all this data and keeping the spreadsheets up to date. If you've been watching this channel and you enjoy the content and you can stand my voice in my face, hit that subscribe button. We're a new channel. We're trying to grow and it really helps the algorithms as I'm starting to learn more about, you know, the YouTube space and growing a channel. Uh, the subscriber count, thumbs up. Up. Uh, comments really, really help. So if you've been watching us and you like it, hit that subscribe button. Plus, we're almost to 500 subscribers. And at 500 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a Crown Zenith ETB. And this isn't like one of those channels with 100,000 subs when you're just like a drop of water in the ocean here. We're only going to have 500 subs. So, I mean, there's a good chance that you could win it. So hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, you will have my sincere thanks. Uh, one other uh, housekeeping note before we get into the video is... This is pre-recorded because the Pika Pika family is at Collecticon in Orlando crushing it this weekend. So we have been to tons of sports card conventions. We've been to nationals multiple times. Um, but this is our first time really at a Pokemon convention. So I'm extremely excited. We have a lot of, you know, best practices and kind of tactics that we use at conventions. So we're going to shoot a ton of content while we're out there. I'm going to butcher the editing, trying to get it all together. I can barely edit me sitting in front of a, a computer screen. But I'm going to try and get it all together and have an awesome video out for you guys so you can see our journey and just get the joy from Collecticon because no matter what, it's going to be a blast and a ton of fun. So with all of that out of the way, let's get into all of these different cool things that we're going after this month in March Madness in the Pika Pika Papa household. So you all know that I am big into finding value in single cards, sending them into PSA, getting them graded, and then hopefully selling them for a profit. This month, I'm doing the same thing, but this is more of a buy and hold tactic. So I have a whole video coming out uh, in a couple days or maybe in a week uh, that's going to talk about these female trainer cards. So they perform really, really well. I've done a ton of research into it. I think there are some trends out there. Uh, but these are some of the ones that I think could, over the long term, again, this is like a two, three, four year your buy, grade, hold type scenario. But Phoebe's one of the ones that I think could do well. It's got a really low pop in 10, only 122 in pop 10. Sells for 50 bucks now with a raw cost of $10. So, I mean, you might be $35 all in. You're not going to see a ton of upside potential when you put the fees in on top of that. But again, this is more of a long-term strategy. Last month I talked about, hey, I'm going to buy these now. I'm going to grade these now. I'm going to sell these now. This month I'm doing more of a buy and hold thing. Uh, the Star My V right there, uh, $30 raw. 10s go for about 120 bucks. 9s for 50 bucks. Super low pop. This this is one where there is the opportunity if you wanted to buy it and grade it and flip it now you could probably make a couple bucks but again I'm going to buy and hold these uh, and then the pokey breeder five dollars raw 50 bucks in PSA 10 another one with really low pop this is kind of like a teaser into this uh, female trainer video that I'm going to be showing here over the next couple days and or a week but this is where I'm going to be buying singles for like Collecticon I'm gonna be looking for a ton of these out on the table see if I can't buy a whole bulk of them like I'm gonna see if I can't buy 10 20 30 uh, different cards for a bulk price and get a discount on it so those are the singles that I'm targeting this month from a grading perspective now Scarlet and Violet. A, a video about March and not talking about Scarlet and Violet would be totally remiss. So I have two Scarlet and Violet ETVs of each version pre-ordered from the Pokemon Center. You guys know that I am very, very bullish on Pokemon Center ETBs. I know this isn't a specialty one because there's going to be booster boxes out, obviously. Uh, this is the first real release. I am going specifically towards Pokemon Center ETBs here. I'm going to tell you why. And actually, the final slide of this video is kind of like a surprise because I'm not going after something this month that you probably think I am. So, I'm going to do this. Crown Zenith's PC ETB performance has been really good. I feel like, and it's, who knows, I feel like there's going to be very limited quantities of these in comparison to booster boxes. So that is why specifically I'm going after the Pokemon Center um, ETBs. We will see what happens, but I have four of them already on pre-order. So it is done, locked in, signed, sealed, delivered. They are coming to the house no matter what. Next thing is I have told you guys 
for the last couple months, I'm building out my personal collection. So these are cards that I want to buy, send in and get graded, and I want to hold on to them for the long term and start building out just this really cool thing where I'm not worried about buying and flipping and the dollars and cents, throw all that out the window. I'm looking for cards that me and my family can enjoy. And one of the things I want to start doing is I want to start working back in eras. If you've been watching my uh, PSA grading uh, videos that I've done a couple of, you've seen that some of the modern cards me and my kids have been pulling, I'm sending them out to PSA. I'm excited to get those graded. Those will be fond memories. But I want to start working backwards and look at some of the cooler cards. I don't think anything's vintage quite yet in the world of Pokemon. I mean, when we're talking about, you know, late 90s being just about as old as it gets, I don't consider any of that vintage quite yet. Um, but I'm looking to start working back in eras, okay? So I'm looking for big names and big sets where I can get in some approachable prices. If I can get them raw for 20, 30, maybe 40 bucks, you know, and then maybe flip them and get them graded. And cards that'll look really cool in holders. So my kids love Umbreon and they love blue. So this Umbreon and... Um, Latios black and white plasma freeze cards I think would be awesome additions to the personal collection. So I am actively going after them. I have four uh, already on order. So uh, a little pre-March madness going on in the Pika Pika Papa household. Uh, and then you guys have heard me talk about this Pikachu from... Um, uh, uh, Cosmic Eclipse. You know that I think that's a really cool card. I love the fact that it has Ash and Pikachu on it, especially since Ash and Pikachu uh, in the anime series are sunsetting, so I think this is going to be a really cool card, and I think over time, Pokemon cards with the two of them on it together are going to only increase in value. So yes, this is one that I want in the personal collection, but I also think it's got great opportunities to uh, grow and run in the long term. So, you guys have heard me talking about booster boxes, Chilling Rain, and or Brilliant Stars. I have one of each that is in the mail. Matter of fact, the Chilling Rain is going to be delivered today. Brilliant Stars is going to be delivered tomorrow. Uh, Chilling Rain's been on fire, and you can still get them. I paid $120 bucks for mine. I think it is just an absolute steal at $120. Brilliant Stars, the fact that you can buy it on the Pokemon Center right now for less than the market value is just absolutely mind-boggling to me. I have two that are on the way. I might order a couple more over the next couple weeks. It just depends on the cash flow situation. I've got some stuff up for sale on eBay, and uh, if that stuff sells, then I'll have some extra influx and money and I can go ahead and reinvest in some of these booster boxes which I think are going to have some long-term potential but this should come as no surprise to any of you you know I've been talking about these two booster boxes in uh, Sword and Shield particularly for a very long time especially since Scarlet and Violet's about to come out I don't think there's going to be a ton if any reprints in Sword and Shield there is not based on fact that is only based on my gut feeling which certainly could be wrong um but I think Evolving Skies is going to be the number one set coming out of Sword and Shield. And I think Chilling Rain and Brilliant Stars is going to be fighting for uh, two and three. So very happy if I can get both of these at a reasonable price, which you can right now. So I am putting money into both of them. And then... This is one that I think is flying under the radar. So I showed you earlier how I am going after some female trainers. This Clara Premium Tourney Box, I think, has the opportunity to do well. I have four of these on pre-order. They come out March 24th. Um, I like the card. If you watched my Sun and Moon single set that came out, uh, that video not, a, not more than a week ago, I talked about how cards that are a little bit darker, which this is, it's got a female trainer on it, like she's got the pink hair, you know, you see a little, I don't know, it's just, a, it's a cool card. So I think this card has the opportunity to do really well. I love the fact that this is going to MSRP at a higher price point. I don't like the ones that come out at $19.99 or $29.99. I think you need to be in the $39.99, $49.99, $59.99 uh, price point for the promo cards that are in them to have some value you want to have a little bit of a higher barrier to entry which this one absolutely does uh also, I don't think that this card is going to be available in Japanese. I think this is going to be like a U.S. print exclusive, which is only going to add value to this card. There's also seven booster packs in here, so it's going to help with the downside. There's a card box. There's card sleeves. Like This is just a cool product in general. Like I said, I have four of these on pre-order. I'm going to probably pull the trigger and pre-order a couple more simply because I want to rip half of whatever I have, send the cards out for grading right away, see if there's any upside potential, just like we did with the uh, Vaporeon, the Flareon, and the Jolteon uh, Ultra Premium boxes. So, if I can get these in early and if I can get these sent out to PSA early, be first to market with some high graded cards, I think there's a lot of opportunity there, but I also want to make sure I have enough to keep them sealed. Um, and like I said, it's just super cool. So no matter what, I'm going to be happy to have the cards. I'm going to be happy to have this in the sealed collection. And uh, for me, I think it's flying under the radar and this is going to be a great opportunity for a long-term buy and hold. And then as I said, as I teased, you all might be wondering, there's a big product that is not on my list and I owe you a whole video around it. But I have not pre-ordered any Scarlet and Violet uh, booster boxes. And I have a whole lot of thoughts on that. And I think this is going to spin up, I won't say controversy, but I certainly hope that a lot of people have thoughts and opinions on this one way or the other. Um, 
But for me, and you know I'm a huge pre-order guy, you know that there's lots of hype around here. When we talked about Crown Zenith, like I was all over the pre-order, I was all over the hype. Um, I'm just not pulling the trigger on this right now, and there's a bunch of different reasons for that. One of it is because I'm really excited about all the things earlier in the video, but there's some other underlying reasons just as to why Scarlet and Violet, um, the initial set, isn't for me. And I owe you a video on that. So I will get that cranking and I will get that out to you soon. But as I have said, I hope you guys enjoy this. Just remember, just because these are the things that I'm going after, certainly doesn't mean that that's what you should do. Do your own due diligence. You can watch some of my videos. I've done a ton of the research for you. Just check out the graphs and um, all of the history trends. And we have a really exciting March in front of us. We did a lot of work in January and I like to give it a couple months to bake. So a lot of this stuff, if you remember in January, we looked at 12 months worth of booster box prices. We've put it into a BI calculator and it's spit out a whole bunch of projections for the month of March. Remember, we set that to three months. Guess what? It's March. So at the end of this month, we're going to go back, we're going to look, and we're going to see how well the BI projector did. I haven't even touched it. It's been very hard for me not to just take a glimpse in there and say, well, are 10 out of 12 right or 2 out of 10 right? You know, where are we at? But I haven't done that, so I'm going to save it all for the video so we can go through it together. Lots of cool stuff for the month of March. I appreciate all of you more than you know. I hope you have an epic day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.